What's going on YouTube bros? It's Devin here from Beast Bodybuilding giving you guys an update from my recent powerlifting competition which was the raw record breakers meet and uh, ended up breaking the 181 total record by 30 pounds. The original record was 1180. It is now 1,210 pounds hold by this guy right here. As you can see, I'm really happy about that. Uh, my original goal was just to, you know, hit 11.85, and you know, I've been happy with that. But 30 pounds over the goal, I was stoked. Um, so, want to show you guys my trophies I got real quick. I believe I got this one for winning my weight class. Um, it's a really sick trophy. It's got the earth on top of the trophy itself, and uh, just really cool, really heavy duty trophy. And then I got another trophy for being the strongest pound for pound lifter as well. And this was the champion of champions trophy. And this one means a lot to me because it shows that all my hard work paid off. I broke records. And not only did I break a record, but I was the strongest pound for pound lifter that day in my flight as well. So there's the champion of champions trophy. It's just sick. So I'm really happy, uh, really proud of myself. Um, definitely uh, my best meet hands down that was also an all-time PR for myself of uh, 1,210 pounds and uh, that was 100% raw at 177.6 pounds so technically I'm stronger than ever all around and just still still weighed weighed in at 177.6 so I just can't believe it um, that I made this kind of progression and 100% raw no belt uh, no wrist wraps, no knee sleeves, which just makes it that much more impressive. Um, I want to get into these lifts real quick. And um, actually, before that, before we get into lifts, I want to give a big thank you to Spiro. Uh, Spiro was the guy who hosted the competition. Just an amazing person, uh, really nice guy, and also an amazing lifter himself. I believe he deadlifted over 500 pounds at 165, I want to say. So three times body weight deadlift. Uh, just just amazing and um, you know really supportive guy um, he was the guy who was spotting me on my squat right behind me in the white t-shirt and he was also the head judge on my last deadlift uh, he was the one screaming let's go Devin you got this just amped me up and um, you know thank you Spiro and you'll definitely be seeing me in your future uh, competitions and uh, all right so Let's get into the lifts. So I made weight easy, had a full day of eating, weighed like six pounds heavier the next day. Um, squats came up, um, only had like 15 minutes to warm up, uh, which was a little little bit rushed for me. Um, ended up only being able to do the bar for like five reps, 135 for like three reps, 225 for two reps. Might have done three, I'm not sure. Then went to 275. And once I got 275, literally after I squatted it, they called my name for 375 for my first lift. So I was like, oh, I better go straight. I literally, as I racked 275, I walked straight to 375 and squatted that. Um, ended up getting it pretty easy. And I was like, okay, got the first lift out out of the way, calm down a little bit, I'm like 405. I hit 405, that'll be an all-time PR for me, regardless of body weight um, or belt or gear, or whatever. So 405, I nail it, it felt great. I was like, should I go 415, should I go 420? But in the back of my head, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play it safe, because last meet, I just missed 413. So I was like, you know what, 410. I already got a PR of 405, let's go 410. 410, nailed it. Perfect grinder, just perfect. I might have been able to do 415 fresh, but I'm definitely happy with 410. That's a seven and a half pound PR. So just really happy. And then the bench came around. Um, bench warmups felt insanely easy. Um, the warm up room, I was smoking 275. Like it was a joke, like just speed rep after speed rep. Um, but the only problem was apparently the bench only flight that was before us was taking forever. Like after I did 275 for my last warm up, we sat there um, just waiting and waiting. I think the bench flight ended up taking an hour long. So sitting for 30 minutes before um, one of the judges said, 
15 minutes out, next flight, start warming up now. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so I had to re-warm up, ended up doing the same exact thing for warm-ups, went up to 275 for single. It still felt easy, but I was like, all right, um, 300 is still going to be a, an easy lift because 275, like I said, it was going up. Judging by the speed of it, in my head, I knew for a fact I had 330 in me that day. Just, just knew it because I, I'm really that good at guessing my weight. So 300 first lift, I lay on the bench. Feels totally different than the warm-up bench. The warm-up bench had a thicker pad, was a lot taller. I was able to get more leg drive and a, more of a tight of a powerlifting arch. Um, the competition bench, shorter to the ground, just solid as a rock. It felt like I was laying on the ground and uh, could not get a good arch because the bench was lower to the ground. So this threw me off. I was like, whatever, 300 pounds, I'll just manhandle this up, it won't matter. Unrack it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, holding it. And about right now, I was just like, oh, fuck it. I brought it down. They said press, I press it up. It went up awkwardly. I don't know if that's because my grip was off. The bar felt a lot different too. The rings were different and it felt fatter than the warm up bar as well. Um, threw me off a little bit, but I just you know, manhandled 300 up after holding it for like five, maybe six seconds at the top. And then after I racked it, um, the, one of the spires came up to me and was like, yeah, you didn't have to uh, wait for a down command. Um, since there's only two spotters, um, pretty much as soon as I, you know, give it to you, just go. And I was like, I was thrown off because I thought I was holding it out there, you know, maybe thinking, maybe they said go. I couldn't really hear them because the music was blasting in the background. I just didn't want to, you know, jump the down command. So I literally held it for five and a half seconds for no reason. Um, this threw me off a lot. And then uh, my second lift, I was like, you know what? whatever 315 I got this because 300 like I said I held it out there for so long I had to hit 315 you know if I just get to bring it down so that's what I did as soon as he unracked 315 I didn't even set up like I do at home or my you know my past training I just brought it right down to my chest and uh, this might have thrown off the bar pattern or something and uh, as soon as he said press I exploded up got about six inches off my chest and my foot just slid now, for all you guys out there who are powerlifters in the bench press, you know when you're going for a weight that's close to your max and your form just goes to crap, meaning like your foot slips or you know, you're know you leaning to the side a little bit, you know what happens, it just doesn't go up. And that's what happened. Went up six inches, my foot slipped and it just stale, it just went stale, it didn't move. And I was like, wow. I took it and I was like, damn. My foot slipped on the carpet. The carpet is going to be my downfall to the bench. And it ended up being true. I went 315 again. The same thing happened. I wasn't able to get my powerlifting arch uh, because my foot immediately felt like it started slipping. And the same thing happened with 315 uh, as it did the second lift. So I'm a little bit bummed about my bench press because I am way stronger than a 300 pound bench press uh, right now. Um, honestly, if the warm-ups would have been perfect, I probably would have got 315 on my, if I would have went, you know, just 315 uh, opener. That was my original goal, but the warm-ups got thrown off. And I probably would have got 315 as an opener, you know, without the down command. If I knew about the down command as well, if there was no down command, I would have nailed 315 and then probably missed 325 due to the, due to the bench being way different. But it is what it is. 300 pounds was actually a 19 pound PR over my recent 181 competition back in July. So I can't complain. Um, that actually might be my strongest pound for pound bench press in competition as well. And, um, you know, like I said, you know, it is what it is. Can't change the, you know, the fact of, uh, you know, things going wrong, but, <clears throat> but whatever. Um, I can tell you this though. Bench press is definitely the most technical lift because a lot of people were missing their bench presses. Um, I had two other guys who were in my flight. Uh, one guy was going for 340 or 350. I think he ended up only getting his opener as well at 325. He said the same thing I said. said he couldn't get his arch right. said the competition bench felt way different than the warm-up bench. So it's definitely, in my opinion, the most technical lift. And um, if you don't, you know, feel right and because the bench is different 
mentally you're through you're thrown off and you know just the different yeah uh, different variables come into play you know your arch your you know your bar pattern your bar path you know it just gets thrown off um so i don't know what i'm gonna do for future competitions i might actually not train a powerlifting arch at all and just use no leg drive just kind of bench 100 percent flat back that way it won't matter um, if the bench is tall or not, because I'll be using no leg drive, I'll just be bringing the bar down and pushing it off my chest. So that's what I'll probably do in the in the future. But anyways, deadlift, deadlifts <laughs> felt amazing. Um, ended up meeting a really cool kid who was really really strong. 198. Uh, I believe he was either 19 or 20, but the kid had a wicked strong deadlift. It was me, him, his father, and my brother all in the one little deadlift circle just destroying warm-ups. And the warm-ups on the deadlift bar just felt insanely, insanely easy. So I was like, all right, 450 first lift. Just to get a secure total in. Nailed it. It felt, like, it felt just so easy. So I was like, all right, I'm going right to the record. I need to pull 475 to hit 1185. Went up to 475, just pulled it just as easy as 450. So I was like, wow, this is crazy. Cause I thought my max was gonna be around 480. That was it. But I knew I had way more in me. So I was like, I looked at the guy who was taking the uh, next lifts and I go, he goes 495. My brother goes 495, Devin. I'm like, fuck that man, 500, let's do this. <laughs> 500 on the bar. Looked it, they called me out for 500, man. I just hit my ammonia, just just ran right to that bar, it seemed, and just heard everyone cheering and just pulled it just with sheer adrenaline, and it felt easy. Like, that's the fastest I've ever deadlifted 500 pounds, without a doubt. Um, I might have had 510 in me, to be honest. So I was just, I was just so happy at that point because now I knew that I just added 25 more pounds to that record, and, um, just that just felt amazing that was a bellus pr deadlift as well and uh, i was just very happy so overall um definitely the most funnest meet i've ever had the best my best meet i've ever had as well and it actually has um sparked a powerlifting um memory back from high school of how into powerlifting i was so after my march 2nd bodybuilding competition i'm gonna be getting ready for another powerlifting competition like 10 days after i believe um there's gonna be the 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 Bo Moore Classic, which is gonna be at the same place. So I'm gonna probably end up doing that one and compete at 165 this time and go for some records at 165 and break my uh, what previous 165 total, which was 1,103 pounds. So that's the goal as well as this bodybuilding competition, March 2nd. So I'm gonna still be training for powerlifting as well as bodybuilding combined. So be on the lookout for more powerlifting workouts, some bodybuilding workouts, and a whole bunch of, you know, vlog updates as well. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully you like this video. Please like it if you do. I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate all the support and the nice comments I got on my powerlifting total video and my deadlift video. And um, just once again, thanks. And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys later. As always, beast out. Deuces. <clears throat> Can't be more happy right now. See you guys.